Hey, Get Fit Lakeville members, workout of the week, one of my favorites, an oldie but goodie. I don't know, you might not think it's so good, but it is a body weight complex. A complex is where you use the same modality, whether it's a kettlebell, a barbell, dumbbell, or your body. In this case, it's not what we're going to use today, and you move from one exercise to the next. We're going to give you, you'll be seeing some more complexes, but this one you can be done anywhere. You can do it in your living room, you can do it in the gym. You can do it at the end of a workout as a little metabolic finisher to really jack that metabolism and help with fat loss. You can also do it as a standalone hit workout. So you, you can do this, you know, five times or so with a minute rest and then throw a jump on your treadmill or uh, elliptical afterwards or something if you have something like that at home. Um, but this will get the heart rate up, train the whole body in just a few moves. So here's how it goes. We're going to do it just like this. We're going to start off, we're in a plank position. Now, you can modify this if you, if you can't go down to the floor, you can do this on the side of a couch or a table or something, or something that's sturdy. We're going to do everything on the floor just for today. So we're going to start off with mountain climbers, the old fire exercise here, a good plank. My wrists, elbows, and shoulders are lined up. I'm going to start here on the balls of my feet, and I'm just going to switch, 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 switch. I'm going to do 30 switches each way, so however you want to look at it, 30 on each side or 60 total, or 30 cycles. Once I have completed the 30 mountain climbers, my next is I'm going to go into good old push-ups, however you can do them. So I'm going to do 20 good push-ups as fast as I can, either on my knees or off my knees. If I can't do them on my knees even, I can always go up here and jump on a rail of some sort and do them like this. Just know the lower you get to the ground, the, the, the harder they're going to be. So um, that's your second one. Your third one is going to be your groiners. Now your runners are going to go like this. We're only going to do 10 because these are a little more difficult. Feet together, hands together. And what I'm going to do is jump forward, jump back. Jump forward, kind of get my knees up as close to my elbows as possible. I'm going to do that 10 times. Now, like the other ones, you can go up on a chair or put your hands up. You don't have to be on the ground. We're going to do 10 of those. Once we have completed that, our finals are going to do five burpees. We're going to do them gorilla style, which means no push up Some burpees people think you should do a push-up. This is just a no push-up version. So my burpee, I'm going to start up here, kind of like a gymnast finishing, come down, kick my legs back. And if you can, jump, roll the arms up. Roll the arms up five times. And once again, just like the other ones, if you have to go to a chair or a box, if you can't go all the way to the floor, you can still do that in a modified format. So once I've completed that, I'm going to rest about one minute to a minute and a half and then do another cycle. And the goal should be to do about three to six cycles with a minute to a minute and a half rest. This is a great little, like I said, metabolic finisher or a HIIT workout. So if it's a metabolic finisher, you might want to only have enough gas left in the tank after a hard workout to do maybe three rounds. But if you're doing it as a cardio workout separate, you could do it six rounds and then rest a minute between. That should get you right around 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes of good hard work and then finish it off with a little bit of steady state cardio. Just remember steady state cardio after high intensity work helps ensure that all the fatty acids that are left in the bloodstream get burned off and don't get reabsorbed. That's why I'm kind of saying if you got time, you know, if you can do 20 to 30 minutes of, you know, go out for a power walk, jump on an elliptical or a bike, something a little more moderate because that kind of fries out those extra fatty acids. So that's the best of both worlds. A little hit at the beginning, a little steady state at the end. That's my workout. Tip, workout and workout tip of the week for Get Fit Lakeville. We'll see you next week.